somebody asked me, did do I really use the solar system method as a method, or is it just sort of... A teaching tool. Well, yeah, sort of a, a metaphor, a symbol, saying, no, 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 I really, really do it. Yeah. So I thought I would um, do a quite bad painting. Great. What came out of Bulgaria was that um, some of the people, one person who wrote a review about it when I was doing this was she thought that some of the paintings that people did were just as good as the perfumes that they made. <laughs> so you end up with two separate lots of art, sort of. So I'm working on a patchouli fragrance at the moment, so I thought I'd like, illustrate it. Right. How I go about thinking about it, and then I'll just show people. Yeah, okay. Um, so it won't take too long, but I, I was planning this formula yesterday, so I'm thinking about it in my head how it works, and it's got to be patchouli in the middle so then you've got to think well what colors patchouli so i'm sort of going with a dark green mm -hmm. so these are my watercolor pencils my ink tents are at home they're the best ones but these will do so as we know i'm not really an artist but so i'll do my my central son of my um uh solar system mm -hmm patchouli-ish and I want it sort of green but when I was doing this workshop with um, the carers in Richmond which I did for National Carers Week somebody wanted to do she, she just said can I do Cypriol and candy floss and I go oh, yes you can because Cypriol is really really deep and um, mm. uh, um, like that so I thought yeah we can do so. I'm going to add cypriol in. So I'm doing it in a. What is cypriol? It's a grass. It's an Indian. It's also known as nagarmota. It's quite oud-like. So sometimes mm. it's used in oud fragrances because it's also a lot less expensive. So your oud will go further. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm making it a sort of dark brown, black sort of color because it's mm -hmm. um, that. That for me is. Colour. But then she, so she, what she wanted was that and candy floss. So my central sun here is patchouli, candy floss, nagarmota, and that's going to be my accord at the middle. So it looks kind of like that, like no art, just Hang graphic. On. Hang on. Show us it again. Yeah. I need to drop the exposure to see it. Say, Great. Okay, sorry. Lovely. Okay, got that, and then mm -hmm. I'm back again. Okay, and then. So that's the, the central reason for being of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So then I decided to put in a kind of quite a spicy cardamom tobacco coumarin. I was thinking I'd go with that. So how how would that work? So oh, I love the, that that mix. The idea of that. Yeah, cardamom I didn't tobacco. even think I'd done that necessarily. So where where's feels, that going to fit? So it, I'll do that. It feels like it 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 would fit in the. Um... Uh, in your, your red church fragrance that you made? Yeah, there's cardamom in that, but there is no tobacco or coumarin. So. Is there not? No. I love cardamom as a, as a smell. Did I put tobacco? I don't think so. And yeah. cumin. The, oh, but this is coumarin, not cumin. Yes, I know. Okay, but, I'm just, but you love cumin. You're just yeah. not saying that. It's okay. just another thing that you'd use in a curry, isn't it? It is. And, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And maybe you'd put... So, coumarin is the tonka smell. But yeah. I sort of chose to do the um, the aroma chemical version. Yeah. So, um, that's my cardamom colour. Sort of, sort of brown. Spicy. And then coumarin's like that, but paler. So, I'm going to do it paler. And then tobacco is dark brown. I've got... I have many, many layers of pencil, and I know some of, I have been accused of just doing this as an excuse hmm. to buy pencils, I'm not necessarily denying that, so I'm going tobacco, so we might adjust the exposure again to, for that, that so that planet is now orbiting my main sun. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, well, I sort of wanted to do a quite sweet thing because I've got ethyl maltol in the middle and I feel that that 
needs to be... An ethyl maltol is the candy, candy floss. Candy floss one, yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw another orbit. And a bit further out, I'm having ethyl vanillin. So I'm doing that kind of ice cream colour. So I'm going, I'm going yellow because that was handy. And also with that, what else shall I put? Um, oh, I think, yeah. The, so a chocolate cream planet, I decided. Um, so a bit of cocoa. A suitable brown in the middle of this. And then to make it creamy, bicyclone on a lactone, which also smells a bit like coumarin, so a bit almond creamy. So what's it called again? Bicyclone non a lactone. Bicyclone non a lactone. Yeah, I will have to review this so that I remember what I said hmm. when, because I'm inventing it as I go along. I was thinking of a a quite bonkers little moon, which I'd have to add in and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then I'd, I'd do this as an experiment. But I was thinking of a peppermint lemongrass moon. Mm. Just... Yeah. So I'm good at <laughs> This sounds great. Does it? Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't quite tell if you were just... It sounds really, really, really nice. Okay. I want you to make it now. Oh, you do? Okay. Um, well, I might. So, peppermint lemongrass moon. Um, so, it's now got a moon. And then, there's the clouds. There are the clouds. Uh, and the ones I was thinking of using were Sedramba and Isoe Super and Galaxolide. So, I think... Yeah. So, I, yes, in my head, I was thinking that you would certainly have a mosque. A big I don't have, yeah. So I have a Sedramba kind of a cloud and Isoe Super, I mean, it kind of smells that colour, which looks quite a lot like the Sedramba, but it will be fine. And then a uh, fluffy musk, a uh, fluffy musk kind of a colour. Isn't it weird you can have that many pencils and none of them seem to be the right colour? It's like, okay, I'll keep that one. Don't need any more pencils. But okay, so at the moment it looks like I say it's not art. It's it's a graph. It's a it's a graphic representation mm -hmm. of a perfume. I'll take a picture of it as well and put it at the end of the okay. video. All right, I'm going to paint it now though, because these are watercolor pencils. So um, I just think stir them up a bit. So. Mm. They look a bit more planet-like. It'll probably all drip when I hold it up now. Well, I'll take a picture of it and then we'll put the picture at the end. Okay. Rather than holding it up. That's kind. Although drips always look cool. Yeah, and it might dry. What was right. the name of the artist? Nikki mm -hmm. de Saint Fal. Yeah. You know? She yeah. used to put, used to put bags of paint into her canvases and then shoot them. Ah. Oh. Um, sort of I actually have a Nikki de Saint Fal fragrance. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, there was an inspired by her work. Well, then let's smell it somewhere. Well, at some it, point, I'll find it. Yeah, it was a gift. So, yeah, that's my ice cream, creamy ice cream. Yeah, it looks good. They're getting kind of bigger as I do this. And then clouds. So, you know, some of my students who are actual artists laugh. Here comes, Here comes Nick. Nick. Hello. Hi, you have a Zoom. I have a Zoom. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do that then. Thank you. Oops, I've got, I'm supposed to be on Zoom. My Zoom people will laugh so much when they see this and they realise that I'm supposed to be doing a Zoom right now. Right. Um, so we'll, we'll do this. Luckily, that is, we're right in time, really. We are. Yeah. So. And then I'll take a photo of this. This is it. And put it at the I end. I just hold it up and we'll watch it go. 
No, yeah. I'll, I'll do. I'll do the. I'll go on then. Well, it's going to dry quite quickly. Most of it's dried because it's so hot today. Go for it. So you just drip a little bit. I'm going to put a picture in as well, anyway. Okay. Nice one. Go to your Zoom. So that'll be us for today then, Arthur. Sally.